Okay, now we come to one of the most important uh, steps that, get, that uh, occasionally gets overlooked, which is the self-test. And it's self-test and it's also stick calibration. So don't think you can uh, just skip over it and trust that it all works, because in addition to doing the self-test, it's also doing the stick testing. As, as now you'll notice, you'll recall that we set channel 12 to be the self-test. Now, if you've got the gear up and gear down on your plane, to, uh, be sure and get the weight off of your wheels, because this is going to exercise channels 5 and 6, even though you've specified that it's auxiliary, and it's going to raise and lower your wheels if you've got those on channel 5 or channel 6. If you don't have to worry, if you don't have that set up, you don't have to worry about it, but here's what we're going to do. So, to activate the self-test mode, you can either click the failsafe button, or you remember that we set up a channel 12 uh, to be the self-test. What we can do is we can just flick that three times. One, two, three. You'll see the blue lights coming on. It's testing its internals. And then it's going to exercise all of the channels that it's controlling. That would have been when your uh, landing gear would have gone up or down. Now once it's done that, here's the really important step. Exercise everything except the throttle. Full left, right, full up, down. Make sure that your trims are centered, otherwise you'll have like goofed up, you know, that it'll be offset according to your trim. And you can see that that has now affecting the servos. Now, once this is all done, we want to lock this in place, and then we will do another quick test. So to lock it in place, we just remove Telemetry the power lost. and reboot Telemetry back. Recovered. Now, flip the switch down to the bottom and move the unit around. Nothing will happen on the servos, but as you move the sticks, you'll get normal motion. That's because bottom is, is manual mode and nothing special needs to happen. Now let's switch to the middle mode and turn up the gain. I turn up the gain all the way to the highest and you'll see the servos will twitch as you move around. And if we watch this one here, you'll see that as I jerk the, as I jerk the uh, stabilizer as if it were going down or up, That'll be pitching the elevator servo. And uh, the key feature is when it's in this stabilized mode, it'll always return to zero. Now let's flip the switch up into level mode and we'll get the same kind of effect. You see that kind of twitch and jerk, but as we move in each of the directions, we'll see that the servo will stay in position. Like here, it's diving and it's trying to move the, the control surface up to, to move it into a level position. Here it's climbing and it's trying to move the control surface into a position that it'll bring it to level flight. And you'll see as we bring this level, it brings the servo back to a level position. So anyways, you should test this out in all three modes, manual, Stabilize, where you just get the jerk and the return to center, and the level mode where it holds the position, and be sure that you've got the gain all the way up.